This video contains four calls made by Ernesto on July 20th, 2023. In these four calls, you will hear Sonia read Ernesto's charges to him. You will hear Ernesto say why his vehicles were parked at Erica King's house and where he says he was located at specific times correlating with his charges. You will also hear Ernesto say that Shirley Strawberry is his number one witness. Take a listen. Okay, go ahead. Huh? I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Hold on. What you say? I'm listening. <sighs> What's the matter? Nothing. I'm tired. I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, it's so hard to read it because it's so tiny. Oh. And I don't, I don't, it's really tiny. So hold on. This is for 62921, this is the date. And this is step by deception. This is on um, June of 21. And this is Galen Bickham wired 70000 from her BD account to Wildcat Ozzy. And then she did another 20000 to the same place. But so what she's saying is the vehicle was titled in your company name instead of her name. So they're saying you took her money and bought a vehicle and put it in your name. On 7, July 7, 22, Ernest William I arrested on an outstanding warrant of deception. That's by deception. William had been running a home at 980. Fine grow and not having seen the rent. So the landlord filed a report stating that Williams owned an ex owed, I'm sorry, an excess of twenty six thousand dollars. No, I don't know them for I don't even know them people. I don't know why she said this also. And let that girl use your name. Uh, you know she's... Yeah, but I don't even know them people. Okay. Go ahead, I'm listening. Crow stated that he believed that there were illicit activity happening in the home because he said he went in there and y'all had, had the keys for three months and it didn't look lived in, but it was some things that was in there that looked kind of suspicious. And they said, okay, so there were multiple vehicles sitting in the driveway, including a Bentley, okay, two Harley two Davidson motorcycles, and ambulance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's yeah, he conducted a walk through the home, heard the rental agreement, and said it was hardly any furniture in the house. And it looked like no one was living there, but the tenant had been there for three months. That sounds stupid, because you could live, Dang. you don't have, Tanya had a house for 10 years and didn't have no fucking furniture in there. Well, first, first of all, let me, let me clear it up. I just kept that over there because she allowed me to keep it over there at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just parked this shit in her driveway, but yeah, somehow. Because, yeah, because her husband had did the work on the floor for me. That's mm -hmm. who did the work on the floors and inside the vehicle. So we did it there. That's how oh, we okay. ended up over there. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's there. an entangled mess. Huh? No, it's an entangled mess. Um, so she, he conducted a search warrant on his vehicle, registered to his wife, which is duly. And while conducting, there were three multiple seized items seized. The, the, the chip pack computer, what the fuck that is, iPhone and a black bag with various documents. Other items were two black dildos, a black mask with zips, and liquid Viagra. Through, the, through further investigation of the documents, it was found that the Bentley was in repossession as William stopped paying a car note and other documents which prompt us to obtain search warrants for 980 Pine Grove as well as 990 Pine Grove where the co-descendant of the case, Erica King, was living. So you're saying it's two, two units. It's yeah. 990, 980. Mm -hmm. So I found um, that, that Williams had a active arrest warrant in Henry County Related to larceny theft by conversion, where a check was written for a trailer for 9385 A check was an NSF, and I found that Williams had an active warrant in Santa Clara, California, for a state, I mean, within the state extradition only. 
As an investigation further, Williams was charged with theft of servants in the deposit of accounts fraud. Seven counts of conspiracy to commit a felony. And that was that stuff with her. It's a court case saying that she showed up, you and her showed up in court, and she said she was April. And you sat there, I guess, and didn't say nothing when she was in court saying she was April. She said she knew you for 20 years and that right, she worked right, for you. You read that. You read that. Okay. I did. Okay. You read. I'm glad you read all that. So you see, I ain't lying to you. Right, so all right. And, and then he said he saw it. They arrested me in my truck. The truck was not right. sitting there. Okay. Mm-hmm. He said that he saw a truck parked there and he got stuff out of there. You understand what I'm saying? That's what you just said, correct? No, I began my investigation to conduct a search warrant subsequent to his arrest on his vehicle registered to his wife. So he said he got, after he arrested you, he got a search warrant for your vehicle. Okay, when, when was that search warrant? Because search warrant, search warrant, should have, they just wrote that shit up. They should have been had that. Didn't they go in, did they go in your vehicle in front of you? No, they did not. Okay. Yeah, I never seen them go in it. Okay, they, so they, they, they impounded it. Listen, they can't, they, when they locked me up. They the the me truck up. was where? The truck was at a paint store. Okay. Yeah, they took t- me up, threw me on the ground, handcuffed me, took me to the police department, and they said, well, we're going to go get your truck. I said, all right. I ain't thinking of it. Okay, go get it. If you're going to go get it, go get it. So they went and got it, bring it back. Oh, we're going to sit here, this and that, this and that. I said, okay. And they said, uh, I said, well, I need to get my wife, and I need to get my lawyer telephone number. Out the phone. If you read that on that warrant. I read it. It says that you said that Erica was the attorney. There you go. There you go. Right. Because for some reason, she had you thinking she was an attorney. There you when go. she wasn't. Right. Okay. So exactly. I, I, I ain't doing a line now. I'm keeping it 1,000. Right, because you honestly thought that girl was an attorney when she tricked you and she was never an attorney. She was right. a criminal. But she told you. You yeah. can know somebody for 20 years, but barely see them. Like, I could have met you 20 years ago and saw you twice, four times, and say I've known them for 20 years. That doesn't mean I saw you every day or every month in those 20 years. It just means I met them in, in 1990, and today is 2010, you know? So that's me knowing him for 20 years, not necessarily being involved with him throughout those 20 years. But that's how she made it seem to state that she known you for 20 years, but she worked for you for five, is what she tried to say. But, you know, that's for court. You got to go to trial with that. And I would go to trial on that and, and, and squash what she's trying to say. Because right, so painting a, she's painting a relationship differently. As if, it, to me, reading it sounding like you would know better, which that doesn't make sense because if I got money, any amount, a little money, whatever. If I go to court, I'm not bringing no fake ass person to court. That's that's a little bold. Thank you. Ain't nobody Thank going you. to court with no fake ass attorney. I don't know nobody that does that in their right mind that would go to court with a fake ass attorney ever. Okay. And as many times as you had to go to court, and they were beating them. Mm-hmm. As you can see that. I don't know if you can see that part or not, but I saw. No, I don't see that she was winning, but yeah. you know she she she. Told you she was an attorney. And guess what? And guess, guess who, what? Who's on question? Even the judge said it. Because the, the judge looked for her barcode and everything. So she stole somebody's identity. Right. Now it's, that bitch is crazy. But she so looked it up. I was right there and I heard what I need to hear. She told me this is what she do. I said, okay. But anyway, so let's get back to this right here. Now I got to get back to this here. Okay. Nineteen. But what you have to explain... Don't say it now, but what you have to explain is how is it Erica King when she said her name was April in court? Right. So she went in court saying she was April. And you, just like when you had the co-defendant, they said Hewley, and you was like, that ain't right. I don't know no Erica Hewley. Right. And I'm like, it's trick. Hewley is King and some other names on top of that. Uh, so there's uh, another thing here. Uh, uh, right. He, you're too, too trusting, can't trust her for somebody apparently. So, Anywho, so, um, hold on. Okay, so, what this person is saying, which is Beckham, she's saying that, um, October 13, 2022, 
o'clock, detective. Hold on, she was already locked up. Okay, so she interviewed him. She, they interviewed her on October 13th. This was uh, before that article came out, because that came out know, Halloween. So Bickham advised that sometime around 2009 and 10, in the market crash, she met you. She was in Georgia. Start right there. Looking... Start right there. What did I tell you? I've been known a long time. Mm-hmm. And I know... During that period, she know she stepped away from him after his continued solicitude for money. Beckham advised that she did loan you a thousand, but she paid it back. She knew you were married to Carol at the time, and you were operating the barbershop. 2015, she ran into you in Atlanta, so I guess five years later. And she said that she said you had a new business, and you wanted to show her. She agreed to meet you at your barbershop located on Peachtree and Far. Business at the time involved private coaches, modern homes. William told Beckham that he was looking for investors for his new business. William also told Beckham that he was going to get married and did she know who he was marrying. She said she was not familiar with the fiancé, but congratulations. William then told Beckham that he was engaged to also Shirley Strawberry. She's unfamiliar with Shirley Strawberry and William explained that. She was on Steve Harvey's show. She said congratulations again. William then asked Beckham about her business interests. That don't make and no sense. That don't make no sense. I know it's, it's, it's backtracking, the report. Okay, go ahead. She was doing the same thing. Hold on. When previously met Beckham, she said she was doing the same thing from when William concluded. And she wanted, she went, oh, get that out of my face. Yeah, whatever. Bring me my lemonade. It's on the counter. And went on her way. Williams later connected on Instagram with her and gave her the phone number, 0177. And that was that. I thought this is for the story. Hold on. I get it. I get it. Okay, so. I get what's going on. Right. So she's just saying she gave you a hundred thousand, I mean, ninety thousand dollars. Okay. I know what's going on. Okay. And apparently whatever she gave you for didn't come through. I can't but I, I'm locked up. So I got this all was, No, this is June of 21. This is when she said this happened. No, I got that part. What I'm saying, though, June 21 all the way to 2022. Okay, that's when they interviewed her, correct? They okay. interviewed her, yeah, October 13th. Okay, so when a person gets missing, what happens? They want to know where the fuck you're going. You done ran off? No, I've been fucking locked up. So if it, if these people had problems with me, they would have way they would have been came forth and took action a long time ago before this even started with me. Do you agree or disagree? Mm-hmm. Okay. No, but, but they interviewed and who interviewed the same police? Uh, yeah, I person came in field for the same. The old special knowledge believe that it's the same person in field keep there talking to people. So what that tell me? That tell me that this motherfucker just got it out for me. I got that part. Now I'm correct on that. Second of all, now that other shit. The last of police. Yeah, yeah. I got now. Now I got, I'm confident and all that. Now as this other shit, as this race shit, now I know all that is bogus. That for real. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I can take it all the way back to um, what they did at that bottle session of um, the first one that I got. Okay, the first one I got, that's what... The well, listen, hold on. It's the same what I'm going to say stands. Okay, so again, she's saying 70000 and then she said on... Okay, so she's saying again on... That was in June, right? Mm-hmm. But then she came back in August, two months later, and said that you did take on 821, this is stuff by this section, that William did take... Beckham's 2021 Mercedes worth 70000 to trade in for another vehicle for Beckham. William deprived Beckham of a property when he traded the vehicle in for an RV title to his company. So, you got two RVs in 21? Thank you. Is what it's for him. <laughs> Thank you. Or it's saying that in August you got an RV. And in June, you got an RV that you got 
ninety thousand in cash for an RV, and you got a seventy thousand dollar band for an RV. Okay, so I got another question. If I'm um, doing all this, let me get it right. If I'm doing all this, what is that a silver suit or is that a body session? Which one is that? So this would be civil. Know, I would say. I would say it's a civil only because y'all got an ongoing relationship. Thank you. And y'all have done things before. That would make it more so civil. Thank you. But but she's saying, because it don't make sense if she felt deprived back in June, why would she turn around and give you a car two months later? Thank you. For another RV if she felt some type of way. Back thank in June, because it don't take two months to do that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's, that, that's just, you know, all of this shit is so minor, it should be bondable. This shit is so stupid. That shit should have been like a $5,000 bond. What happened? Him and some chick that he been doing business with, okay, the shit didn't go right. Okay, $5,000 bond, who cares? We'll fix it. You know, we'll figure it out what it is or whatever. Why is it? Why isn't it? Yeah, well, why isn't it? Um, See, they keep talking about the probable cause is going back to that landlord shit. He needs to produce a lease and a utility deal. Yeah. First and foremost, he needs to produce that or any type of payments from you to him. Why he keeps trying to say 980 was something that you and that you was renting from him. Who was at 990? Uh, she was at nine, one of them houses over there next to each other. I don't even know the mm-hmm. address. 980 and 990. Yeah, I don't know the He said 980 know. was you and 990 was her. It was her. Okay, but I never met these people. That's what I'm trying to say. I never met them. I don't even know them. We're going by what she had going on. So I listened to what she had going on, not my own instinct. Right. You know what I'm saying? So... Straight up, but I can't talk about about my damn self right now. Whatever. I I can't talk about about myself. Hello. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, you gotta be careful when you got a record. You can't. You can't mess around with nobody that looks like they. They they not on the up that one. They got a lot of miscellaneous. But then it's it's how a person presents themselves. Because her husband may not have known what she was up to. And he right there married to her and could not have known anything about her but what but, she shows. But he knows, because I'm going to have to subpoena, he knows my character. He knows my character. So I know that for a fact. And he was a good dude. And then they need to ask her in court, did you ever, did, did he honestly know you weren't an attorney? Did you ever tell me he was an attorney? Because why would he take you to court as an attorney when he could have easily hired an attorney? Because I'm sure... It wouldn't have cost much. It was just an appeal on a on a case. That's all it was. Thank you. And it was Shirley's case, not even your case. It was Shirley's shit. That's what I'm trying to say. But they trying to say because you sat in court and and this girl sat there in court and said she was not who she said she was, and you didn't say anything that she was part of the game. There you go. When when all it could have been was she told me that was. Her legal, that, that was a name that she used when she was a, if she could have told you any kind, any kind of story that anybody could have believed, you know. She told me that's just the name she presses on the law. I, I never thought too much in it. It, it. it is odd looking back that her name is Erica in April, whatever, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, you know, but some people are nosy and they get involved. Some people just listen and run okay, with it. Like, yeah. okay, that's what she yeah. told me, that's what she told me. So this one is financial transaction card fraud. Okay. With Melanie Scratton's credit card. Okay, now how? To Laura's, huh? Okay, I'm listening. Go ahead. This is supposed to happen in 21 of December. This is supposed to be Williams did provide Melanie Scratton's credit card to Laura's Truck Inc. for the amount of a thousand dollars. What? Without <laughs> authorization from Melanie Scratton. So they saying that wow. if you, okay, what's this? Okay, so on August 15th of 22, this is after you got arrested, I made a phone call to Melanie, a victim of Ernest's 
Scrap reported her car stolen on June 4th to the South Fulton Police Department. I spoke wow. with Scrap briefly about her relationship with Williams and asked her to send all the documents to me that she had regarding her case. Scrap mentioned that she recently filed another police report regarding Williams using her credit card uh, for items not authorized and money not being repaid. Wow. Mm -hmm. On the 30th, she met with him um, at the police department in Roswell, and she stated that on... This is Melanie. This is Melanie, but she she came into the police department. And she stated, September 1921, which is a year prior, she met you at a Starbucks. She was sitting outside speaking with some females selling Mary Kay products. She told Williams that Starbucks is closed and that if he looked too long, he would end up buying something from her. Williams started speaking with her, bought her, bought some beard oil, told her she had a beautiful smile and ended up exchanging numbers with her. He showed up, no, he showed her his Instagram and how many followers he had and said he could help grow her business. He also mentioned that if he could help her get her finance and life goals in order. William texted Scrat later on and told her that his team could work on a project that would cost her $1,000. She stated that she was looking into courses that cost her mom that same, so she said go ahead because, you know, she was trying to look at a dog taste the rabbit. That's crazy. Sense to me, so. William was telling her about his security company and wanted to show her that he could find people's information by running their tags. She stated that she went to the truck and grabbed the portable radio, then stated that you linked to 911 in that. He gave a tag over the radio and received a full back report with all Scranton's personal information. On the 27th of that same month of 21, Williams needed to have a thousand for social media work transferred to him via bail. What what is what now? He said that we needed to have a thousand for social media work. And that she stated she transferred ten dollars from her checking account. Ten dollars. Hold on, hold on. (laughs) She stated hold on, this is a fucking long ass report. She stated she gave ten dollars to Williams from Chess account. To verify if it went to correct. Second transaction was nine ninety. On October third, twenty one, Williams called back, asked to meet her. They met in the parking lot in Alpharetta on one of him, on one of Williams' motor coaches. When Scranton arrived, Williams was with a young female named Dominique, later identified as Alaya Alexander, who was his assistant but called his his daughter, mm-hmm. Williams stated that to strengthen that Dominique, uh, she could meet on the coach about the work Dominique would be doing for her regarding social media. When Scott was on the coach, Dominique, her son, was sitting with Williams in the F1, in the F350. Um, Stratton stated that Dominique was supposed to work on her content for Instagram to help gain followers as of a current date, Dominique was never provided, never provided the service. And she was supposed to, after the meeting, Scranton left with her son and went to a pizza on the corner. Uh, after, when she was getting ready to leave, her car wouldn't start. She reached out to Williams. After a few attempts to start it, Williams stated to her that she needed to get a new car and to get one from under her and to get that one from under her. He came to speak to her about a bank account and debt and that he could get her under her debt and level up. She disclosed to Williams all the debt that she had. Okay, on October 6th, she said she met with you on the motor coat. Just asked, um, he was stating to her he was going to get her a Chevy Tahoe and that she could go online and choose that, choose what she wanted. 
sent him a copy of her driver's license, and he would need 3000 sent to him via Zelle in increment payments, and that he would take care of the rest. She sent $1,000 out of her savings, and um, during that meeting, William stated that he asked her if she liked messages, massages, massages, I can't read. She said that she did, and she had the same male massage therapist for a while. However, she stated that she felt uncomfortable with William massaging her because he was married. William asked if... You have one minute remaining. Massage therapist was married, and she stated she didn't know that it didn't matter because she was paying for a service. William responded... With my wife knew I was what I was doing before she married me. Who stated that William gave her a massage on a bed located in the back of a motor coach. On the first of November, William stated, "I stated to Scranton that she needed to send him five hundred dollars for insurance on the vehicle. If she could not, that she could not leave the lot without insurance. He sent the five hundred dollars to the checking account, and then uh." He met, she met him on the motor coach to speak with him again about the plans. Level up and received a, a massage. This was the first time the relation became intimate on November 5th, 2021. Thank you for using Global Telling. Okay, go ahead. Okay, um. I got you a call with the, uh. Hold on. So. She said, um, November 1st, you need to apply for insurance. On November 7th, she was supposed to meet you to get the check, but it never happened. William stated that he was busy hanging out with Charles Rockley and would let her know when he would have a truck. Um, she stated that Williams wanted her to do a pop up shop for her business. That would be good for bringing it to the motor coach. And they felt like the good location was Douglasville. On November 10th, she called Williams about the truck and also about the pop-up shop. And he said he was in Texas. He had to contact and get back with her. Um, on the 12th, she was supposed to do the pop-up in Douglasville. And Williams stated that she would not be able to do it because the generator would not start. And it was a cold day. He also said that her, to her that she would need to get him $200 to cover gas for security for the next day available for the pop-up shop. She stated, wait, okay, oh, so. Oh, that's in a warrant? Oh, that's in a warrant? Oh, that's a statement. You know, this is all in the warrant. This is the, this is the affidavit for arrest. Okay, go ahead. Um, pop-up shop, I she just spent 200 for the pop-up sale. Okay. On November 15th, she reached out about the tell and not received it. Now she's paid 2000 and stated that he was back from Charlotte and was surprised that the dealer had not called her. On the 17th, Williams contacted her and asked for how much that she had on three credit cards. He told Williams the amount of the credit card Williams stated that he she needed to pay 800 into the private security, giving her 2%. As an 800, Scranton had not been given any percentage of ownership. Williams stated that he would speak to her son that was in Memphis and that he was upset because young girl was shot and he mentioned to her that he was there purchasing a command center for assistance since her image on the 23rd of November. Of what? When, on the 23rd. Of what? Wednesday of night. This is November 2021. Okay, you stayed the night. You stayed the night at her house for the first time. During the stay, he asked if there's anything she needed help with on her house and that he has guys that can help with handiwork. She made a list of all the work she needed to and sent it to you. William received the list. He stated that he needed $500 to pay the handyman for the work. She sent the 500 and for the repairs, the house has never been fixed. On December 1st, during the conversation between Williams and Scranton, Williams stated that he needed to go to the Chevy dealer to talk about the 
Tahoe, the Tahoe and when they would receive it. What is this, two months later? Um, uh, Williams stated that he needed to go to the Chevy Eleven. Okay, so oh, Scott stated that she and Williams started planning a trip to during Christmas break as she's a teacher and she gets two weeks off. During the same call, Williams stated that Stratton to Stratton that he would be able to pay off her debt for her and that Dominique would be bringing her the money via check. The money was never brought. Um, Williams said that to Scratton that she needed to renovate her kitchen and that he can get the appliance and brand smart. She agreed. Stainless steel. Williams. Hold on. Scratton gave Williams information. Three credit cards. She needed to spread. Hold on. The charges. So the appliance, the car, three credit cards, and she operate. Okay, so or whatever. On the same day, William charged two thousand at Princeton One Auto on her Carnival Mastercard. Who? What's the name of it? Carnival Mastercard without authorization from her. William purchased multiple vehicles from this location through a search warrant of the White House. They found a receipt, um, scrap paper with, with a scrap and credit card number was found in Williams' black backpack in the vehicle. The same day, Williams also used her family's first credit card and made the purchase in the amount of 1017 to Laura's truck. On the second, Williams charged 1000 on her credit card and 800 to the family first to that truck spot. On December 4th, 21, he asked if he could, if she had any room on her credit card and then proceeded to make a purchase without her consent. All of this without her consent don't make sense because it make no sense. if he's calling and asking if you got any more room, how am I sneaking and using a credit card? Thank you. You keep It sounds like a relationship that went awry and she don't want to pay for this shit Cause she didn't get like it didn't work out. So instead of her uh, trying uh, to pay, I, I I'll keep reading. I want you to keep reading because I'm gonna bust it above when I tell you this right here. Because I'm gonna show it to you because you got the paper in front of you. Keep going. So on the fourth, he asked her if there was anyone on credit card. What month is this? December 2021. Okay, man, I said I don't know. I don't remember nothing like that going on. But now I, I'm, I'm catching it. Come on. Okay, so in the amount of a thousand dollars, right? Um, and transaction was not authorized. No money was returned. December 13th, William stated that she, to her, and he would need at least a thousand sent to him for the Tahoe. She sent a thousand from her checking account. So why does she keep sending money to she still <laughs> like? That don't make sense why you keep sending money if back in October you're supposed to get a truck and he keeps telling you this. Thank you. Why Thank you keep you. sending money? During the rest of December, she faced the family tragic when she lost five members to a fire. Williams never traveled. Williams and her never traveled, but he tried to advise her that in order to pay for the funeral, she would need a line up. She would need to <laughs> up her credit limit. Oh my God. Um, credit looked better. She stated she was getting frustrated because she has paid thousands of dollars to William and had absolutely no return. I don't get that. No vehicle, appliances, work done in her house, social media work. And this sounds um, more so civil because it sounds like a personal relationship. That's what this is. This really sounds civil. Okay, come on. This, don't sound, this, is, this doesn't sound criminal because if I'm dating you and I'm kicking it with you and you're giving me money, it's personal. It's no, it's not business. Even though the immediate meeting was business, two months later it turned personal. So now we're kicking it in a sense. Okay. Because I'm coming over, I'm saying I'm, I'm we're fucking whatever. Okay, so it had no after, okay, no vehicle, no plans, with no work, no in the company, and she was promised. Scranton, she didn't tell Williams that they need to chat. She initiated a thousand dollar request through. Zell to try to start getting some of her money back. 
We don't say that he cannot process it as Dominique has control over his account. January 20th, she, in a conversation, stated to Williams that she was going to trade her Nissan Altima in the CarMax. Williams stated to her that he would be able to get more money from the car if he had a buyer lined up. Williams bought one of one of his 2015 Chargers for Scranton to use while he was going to sell the Nissan. Scranton drove the Charger for a few months and kept asking when was he going to get the money from the vehicle. Williams kept stating that he was trying to travel. When he spoke with her and said he would, she would, she, I'm trying to fucking like <laughs> Okay. It's that's, a whole, that's a whole book depth. It is. That's a whole book. Wow. It's a whole, it sounds like a whole relationship. Okay, go ahead. And this, this, is, this does sound like a relationship. It doesn't really sound criminal. It would have been criminal if you dipped and dipped out and then, you know, never returned to call and all of that. But it's because of this ongoing um, situation, um, it, it should have been a civil matter is what it should have been. She should have sued you civilly for this. This wasn't criminal at all. Okay. Um, so you let her use your car while you was holding on hers. And on March 9th, you called her and asked that she could play some appliances at her home. She stated that she's not at home and there wasn't enough room. And you sent her a photo of all the appliances, which from the house at the 2155 Bent Creek Alpharetta. Help me. This house, this is a house that you shared with Shirley. William sent a photo. Photos, surely, photos later showing the, hold on, later showing the appliances lit on the back of the white truck, taking them to the storage unit. This was also the day that Williams and his wife were evicted from the resident. Um, on March 13th, William met her in a different vehicle to go for a 2015 Dodge Charger. During the rest of March and April, she continued to ask for the money. William stated that the buyer was in Dominican and that she, as she returned, she would be able to get her the money for her vehicle. William told Scranton to stop paying on the auto loan due to him selling the car. She stopped paying as she believed she would have the money in hand for the loan in full. She started getting notices for payment and eventually told Williams that if she did not get the money for the car. It was going to be repossessed. On May 2nd, 22, the Dodge Charger she was driving was totaled from her place of work. She found out that the vehicle had been repossessed and that it was being stored at Atlanta Carland. She stated to Williams that he needed to give her the money for her vehicle or the money or give her the vehicle back as she now has nothing to drive. Williams came over at 300 hours on May 3rd and spent the rest of the morning hours with her. What is 3 so the hours? Two, zero, 300, uh, 3 o'clock. In the morning? Oh, 3. No, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, go ahead. 3 o'clock in the morning would be 2012. It starts at 12. It would be 24. 24 is, is midnight. No, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. That's 3 o'clock. Oh, 300 hours. Okay. That's, I think that's 3 o'clock. Morning. Okay, so at May 3rd, and spent the rest of the morning hours with her so that he could drive her to work that morning. On May 4th, Williams arrived with the ambulance for her to drive, but he ended up driving her and her son instead. While on the way to work, the ambulance broke down and he called a tow truck. She and her son walked home. On May 5th, Williams started asking her if she wants to work with him and be the registered agent for his bail bond business. She declined. On May 17th, she asked him again for the money for the vehicles. On May 18th, she received a text message. That's why your ass couldn't be found the first when I was here in May, because you was all with her. I'm seeing where your ass was. Her. No, yes, she was. Okay, That's what it's Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anyway, uh, you don't know what you're talking on about. May 30th, um, she messaged you and stated that if she does not put the money back for the vehicle in her account by May 30th. She's going to call the police. I filed a stolen car report. On June the 4th, 
Okay, stop right there. She reported her car stolen. Hold on, stop right there. In May, you know where I was at? Mm mm. I was in fucking Dallas. You was in Dallas. You fucking right. I was in Dallas. Do you remember? You wasn't that? in Dallas the first week of May because I saw you. I saw you when I was here. Yeah. And I was, May, I was, I was here the first two weeks of May, and I saw you. Right? Oh, why? Right. I saw you right. twice. But you were in Dallas. Yeah, you did I know Dallas. I was. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Keep going. You did go to Dallas. <laughs> mm-hmm. Keep going. So, okay, June 4th, she wrote, she did it. Okay, so June 6th, she started text. we started texting her, demanding a copy of the police report. On that same day, her car. Now, let's go back to my head went to her knee. Go ahead. Because I can tell you exactly where I was. I'm keep going now. June I, know 2nd, I mean, June 6th. You started texting her demanding a copy of the police report on that same okay, day. Stop, 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 her stop, car stop. is located in Conyers. Okay. The car was being driven stop, by stop, Tracy, right. who was arrested for, okay, mm-hmm. I remember, for, you remember that? Now you I remember that. this. All right. yeah. um, for the car, okay, because the car was being driven by Tracy, the who girl. was, oh, girl, um, fucking grandmama. Yeah was identified yeah, right. as the granddaughter to interview with Okay, she was in the Dominican Republic and was told by Wim that she had that he had paid the car off for her and had given it to her. She was driving the vehicle around under the impression that it was paid for. So on on June eighth, twenty two now this is after the alleged second she's trying to say it twice that she was riding around in the car. Thank you. I'm trying to tell you all this shit's gonna add. It's gonna all make sense. So how do you? How is she riding around in the car and you? Thank you. That's crazy. And then your grand and you cool with her grandma. And her fucking daddy, they gave her. And when you say how much money, boy, you ain't have no clue. Okay, so that's crazy. How all of this is like don't even make sense. They're not even really like understanding the book of this. So on June, okay, so through interviews with. She was in the Dominican Republic and was told by Williams that she, that he had paid the car off. Okay, so on June 8th, Williams stated to her that he knows what she told the police and it's okay. He understands. He also stated that he had a lawyer and he would go turn himself in as a warrant for theft by deception had been obtained for him. And that was the other one, I guess. That's it. That's right. That's right. You got and then it. on June 9th, she received a call from William's lawyer, Josh Jones, with Jones Jones LLC in regards to the stolen car. The number refers to, okay, so registered to an Earl Lamont, who is one of William's friends, partners, and jail associates from his past incarceration. This number has been dialed in conversations had by Williams from the jail on August 13th, 15th, 16th, 23rd, and 24th. William, who, who in jail? This is when you was in jail and you was calling. Calling who? Lamont. Okay, what about him? You were referring to him as Lamont. They're saying the car, the number on the, regist- on the register to an Earl Lamont. Okay, what car? Oh, the call. Okay, go ahead. The call. Okay. Hold on. Or oh, whatever. William has been referring to this individual by Lamont. To date, she has not received her money back. Um, he in jail now. Um, Williams committed theft by deception, obtaining the jail amount of the thousand, a jail amount of the thousand, a jail amount of the thousand, a jail amount of five hundred, two hundred, eight hundred, five hundred thousand. Williams did commit financial transaction fraud when he provided Melanie with a credit card on December first. So if you, this is all somewhat civil and somewhat not because it's not criminal at all. Because if you did charges in December in 21 and she's talking to you in June, she done seen the statements in January. So there's no way she did not know about this thing. And for her to say it was unauthorized and to keep giving you money after you made an unauthorized, so she say, purchase with her credit card, doesn't make sense. If you took my credit card and used it, I'm not going to turn around and give you some money three months later. Uh, first of all, why would I take something from anybody? I don't got to take nothing from nobody. I'm an ex. I don't have to do that. 
that, none of everything what she got going on don't make no. She's money. saying that so she don't have to pay for it is what she trying to turn around and do now because it blew up in her face and right. she didn't. And so now that she's not fucking with you and she's probably mad at you, fuck it. If I gotta make it a criminal case, if that's what they want me to do, because um, when she start coming to them, I don't know. But uh, uh, I already know what it is. I already know they they could hurt such to do a whole lot of things. And the only reason I helped out with that car is because her son was autism. That's the only reason she had to take him to a fucking special school every fucking day, just to take him there. That's the only reason I did that. So you don't, if somebody's there for you, somebody's going to offer you something to drive their shit to. That don't make no sense. Right, the whole, the, right, the whole story doesn't even make fall. no it's, okay, sense. Okay, it's not criminal. That's for sure. It's a relationship. You're giving herself, y'all staying, y'all spending time. You're, like, you're not following through with, you're not following through with some of your promises or whatever it case is or whatever. That's what she's claiming. It's, you know, that you make false promises, whatever. That happens in relationships. So, I mean, it's a, it, it looks like a relationship is what it looks like. And she got mad because, um, you know, she got tired of waiting on your ass. And so she's still number 44. Uh, first of all, first of all, um, I'm not going to set myself up like that. I'm not stupid. I know how motherfuckers come at you. I know that. I had too much to lose to play a petty game. All that shit petty. Everything in there is petty. So, right. So that right there is, like, it looks like a lot of your shit is just people you deal with. Bullshit. Uh, uh, people I try to help. That's what that was. All of that was is help. And if you see when it's saying that the grandma got uh, locked up for the car, I want to know about that police report. I want to know why did you sit here and report something that's stolen that wasn't stolen, that no one stole from you. That's it's not considered stolen. What it's called is it's called unauthorized use of a vehicle because I gave the car to somebody that I know. And then when she asked for it back, you didn't give it back to her. That's called unauthorized use of a vehicle, not not stolen. Right, so she right, gave right. you the car. You just didn't give it back when she asked for it. No. That's why it's, it's unauthorized use. Because now I want my car back, and, you're, and you didn't bring it to me, so it's unauthorized use. It's not. Okay, first of all, it blowed up in her face when she figured out that her daddy gave the money to for that shit. It blowed up in her fucking face. She pushed that gun too fucking fast. That's what happened. You can't turn back then. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't understand why you got an innocent person locked the fuck up. There's some shit they don't know nothing about. That lady was locked up for nothing. It makes no sense. And then I I know why the other person did what they're supposed to be doing. But they they don't trigger them to say anything. So I figured that out. I just I figured that out last week when uh, I figured out what's going on. I figured that out because they scared them to say shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, that's what. It. How you tied into all this here? That shit makes no sense to me. It don't make sense that she January twenty two. This shit is running goddamn crazy as a motherfucker. All that shit running crazy. It don't make sense that she's having all these conversations with you, but she said back in December you used her credit card. Hold up, mine or hers? You don't have a commission. Hers. That makes it's sense. You used her credit card on three occasions, but I, but she's talking to you after the fact and giving you money, so it's like. How can you sit there? She got a, if she got text messages to, to, to support what she's saying, like when it happened like a month later when she got her bill to say, why is my credit card $5,000 instead of $4,000? Oops, here's a $1,000 charge that I didn't do. And then she would call you and be like, why did you charge this? You know what I'm saying? It would be a conversation. But again, if that was the case, why was she still giving you money when she could have put that money you asked for and said, I ain't giving you shit. I'm about to pay this bill that you put on my card. But, again, I don't get it. I don't know her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first of all. See what happens when you smile in people's face and push up at them at the coffee spot? Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. What else? What else? What else? Keep, 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 keep smiling at strangers. Uh, that's it. Okay, so anyway. Two, two things. So, I ain't never so listen, that, that's, that's, that's a straight... That's not a criminal case. That right there is not a criminal. Hey, I'm talking about Period. both of them. Listen, the girl both. is talking about that not if she's riding around in your car, uh, still hanging out with you two years, three years after the fact. Who does that? Thank and you. her father and her grandma kicks Thank it and talks to you. 
So it's like how that don't even it's to say, Oh, he said he was gonna kill me. Girl, you that sound stupid because you you <laughs> out here in the streets chicken and and, mo- and Dominican Republic, like you out the country, it's it's plenty of opportunities for you to say something and not worry about somebody coming to kill you. That's just stupid. So yeah, you can't even say when was that statement? That they, well, we know what the statement was. The what, what statement? What, when was that statement made? Um, okay. Cause first of all, none of that she had them made it recently. I mean, because remember in December, that's on the paperwork here. That makes no sense. No, it 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 none of it makes. It's all efficient. I would say. I would say everything a hot mess that they turn into a criminal case. That's what it is. They turn everything into a criminal case that should not be. The the, the landlord bullshit, that's civil. All of it. And, and, and unless he produces a lease, again, that's civil. Uh, the shit with the lawyer, that's some shit that she did. Ain't no way nobody in their right mind gonna go to court with no safe ass attorney. That's something she tricked and lied. You have one minute to remaining. We don't shit. Not tr- and trusting because I guess she felt like maybe you know Nora, but I really don't know her. But maybe she did go to law school. Who's fair? I'm not going, you know, I'm not going to question it. If she says she's a lawyer. Who lies about that? I get that, you know. Uh, wow. but, so what you think about? I'm gonna have to, I need to call you back uh, one more time or I'll call you back later. I'll be back later. Or you gonna call me back one more time? And that's gonna be it. For today. I'll call you back later. Okay. Yeah, but, you know I ain't working. I got no job. I got it. I understand. I, I, I understand. I appreciate this right here. Yeah, it's it's hell. God damn, what is this? Um, so when I go to court Monday, I got to figure out how this judge is going to listen to this bullshit. Well, what she needs to do is she needs to file a motion. And with all of this gathered up into one motion saying it was a personal relationship that went awry. No, I'm, I'm talking about this. Thank you for using Global Telling. What's wrong with your phone? You know, I kept slapping zero and slapping it and it just could not take. I texted you to tell you, uh, you know, to call me back. It wasn't working. You, I always get oh, called back like three times in a row. Hmm? Yeah, the pad is cut off at 10 o'clock. Oh. Yeah, cut off. Oh. Yeah, I texted you to say call me because it's not acting right, but I was hitting zero. Oh, as long as I answer, it's going to go. Just keep calling me back because, you know, I have put money on her today anyway, but it just, um, just keep calling until I, you know. But you, you can hear me You can hear me pick up, though, right? No, I can't hear none of that. Oh, wow. Sometimes uh, sometime I can hear it. I can hear it after you, like, put money on the book and then, like, you're trying to start over. I can hear you talking in the background. Mm-hmm. Uh, about two seconds, then in the hang-up. But you don't have to get used to it now. That, that's really like beginners. But you don't mm-hmm. have to do it now. It don't, it don't even get that far. Uh, well, I, I got something mm-hmm. I want to say, if you don't mind. No, I don't say nothing. What you got to say? <laughs> what I got to say? What you got to say? And you're going to get lippy with me. So when you started off, I just know you're about to get lippy with me. Don't get lippy with me. Go don't ahead. Keep, don't keep looking at you? No, don't get lippy, 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 no, lippy, no, mouthy. No, I, have I ever did it to you? Have I ever got small, jazzy out the mouth? Have I ever did No, but you, you, put, you don't put down on me before, but go ahead. I mean, in a polite <laughs> way, you've done it before. You've done it several, like twice, but go ahead. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. If I do that, that means I'm telling the truth. I'm, I'm really listening. Um, I'm hmm. telling the truth. See? Go ahead, telling the truth. Well, one thing I'm going to say is two things for sure. Uh, I got your little slick comment. I got that. You know. Uh, what that? I, I got that. It's just, it's just so real. Like, I, I was like, I, I sit there and I would read or hear something, but it'll marinate in an hour or two or a day or two. It'll resonate in my head, and I'll really, like, think about shit, analyze it, and then I'll come back to it. I'm the same way. So I was I'm thinking... Right, and so I'm reading and reading, and, and at that time, like, we weren't, like, you know, on nothing but friendship, so it was no pressure on that. It's just to see what you were doing right before you got in there. You was juggling four situations, and I'm like, there is no way that man married juggling four situations. Thank you ever very going to much. Thank you. <laughs> ever going to, you're missing my point. 
right, no, I thank you. Point. You, you My it. point is that you would ever You're be dead. faithful. That's what I was saying. Right. Ain't no way your ass would ever be faithful. It's not in you. It's just not in you. You're doing too okay. much with a wife. And I mean, and that's fine. If that's your, I mean, I just want you to be well, real about it. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. First of all, first of all, first of all, mm-hmm. uh, you calculating some wrong shit, okay? Second mm-hmm. of all, okay, let me get the second, I'm going to get the first one out of the way. Mm-hmm. I, had to, I had to call you every fucking day. One of them days I was with your ass, okay? I know that for a fact. I know that. Yeah, for May you know, 2nd. I know, that, I, know that, I know that for a fact. Okay. Wait a second. Mm-hmm. Okay. There, there, don't I thought you there. want when I was there for two weeks. You're right. Okay. I was, no. there, I was there May 1st through the 14th, I think, and then I left. And I saw you maybe twice. But I know I saw okay. you once. I'm talking about one of them days that them folks said I put been over there with them. And I know that was a lie because I was with your ass. So I'm not stupid. You thought you was with me May 2nd. May second, yeah. and I don't know if I saw you once or twice. I know I saw you, saw you once. Two times. You saw me two times. I saw times. you twice. I know I saw you twice in April. I saw you once in June, and I think I saw you twice in May. You did. I think. You, I, right. know, I, ain't no thing I, I didn't know. see you, and then the, I know the whole year of it, and right after the hospital, 2021, I did not see you, which was okay. fine because I purposely avoided you in okay. 21. That's, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, all that, that to me, that small stuff. I'm not even. She told on herself. I mean, I just listen, though. I watch oh, listen. Listen. Looking at your cases, your cases are bullshit. They're, they're all that. a fucking read. They're, they like, I'm surprised that the, that the, that the freaking, um, prosecutor went in court and tried to act like your shit was so fucking serious that you was a threat to society. I'm like, what the fuck is this case saying? And all that shit looked like is a bunch of petty ass women in their feelings. Screaming, you know, wolf. Thank you. That's all that shit looks Thank like. You. Every last one of them situations, except for the dude, is somebody you had some type of situation with. And they got, and one girl, <clears throat> you went to jail. She wasn't going to get that money for all those charges. So what she has to do is get a police report in order for them not to charge her to get that off of her. She has to make a police report. She went in there and and and, and told and her that's little exactly, story and that's exactly to get happened. that shit off her because she didn't want to pay that because you know thirty days what's going on on your credit card and if you got a thousand dollars and she's a teacher she's not out here balling so she got a thousand dollar charge on her card she knew about it the, the, the moment her statement came or when she went on her phone and saw what her balance was so she can't say four or five months later oops. I didn't know about the charge. Girl, you knew about that charge. One, they notify you through text. Whenever it's, it's a certain amount, your your credit card company will notify you. And when that bill comes, you know it. You know what your shit is looking like. And you didn't say nothing but, you didn't say nothing for months. Okay. So you know that shit was legit. You just got mad. Like how, like my father, um, son father did me with the credit card. And press charges exactly. on me. Exactly. You think I didn't listen to you? He did the same shit to me. Press charges and the judge was like, exactly. you know, it, it should have it should have been civil. It should have been just a note to me saying pay the thing back. It shouldn't have never been nothing because I never avoided or never said I wasn't going to. I just paid for what was charged for me and the stuff that I bought for him. I didn't pay for that. I did immediately pay for what I charged for myself because he said don't okay, touch the let, money. Okay, let's, okay, so let's get paid. I'll, I'll pass out. That's all that shit don't mean nothing to me. Uh, I'll be honest with you because I, I, I can listen very well what you said. Um, all of that, that's nothing to me. That's nothing. I'm telling you, I know mm-hmm. why, what's going on. That's nothing to me. Uh, when it comes down to my business partner, I know why they did her like that because they were going to find out some kind of financial fraud. There's no financial fraud nowhere. If you really yeah, because they're that, trying to make good on that million dollar bullshit, and they right. not even that. That's only at a hundred with her. That's it. Hold on, hold on. I ain't, I ain't finished. I ain't even finished. She didn't say not one thing in that said I took anything. I'm going to tell you why. They said uh, they gave you a, uh, what do you call it, they gave you a place that is supposed to have been transpired from. Look at where that place comes from. It's not here, period. We never did no business in Georgia. So I want to hear that bullshit. You understand now? Oh, you talking about that, car, that, de- that dealership um, for the RV thing? That, yeah. The money that she's talking about, an RV? Right. Where is that RV located at, that place? That, that place is in Kentucky. Yeah, that's not Fulton County. Thank you. 
So why are they trying to put their put their locks on that? That's not for that's not their jurisdiction. If you I, I, if you I, I, bought something in in in, in Texas and Kentucky, then that's a Kentucky let, jurisdiction. Let, let me break it down for you. I ain't gonna go too deep in it. You get smart enough to see. Um, when they went in my my bag, they saw my uh, all my receipts, everything in our document is business, my checking account, everything. It's all right there. So that part, that's where they got that from. And they went from there. They called her down there. She ain't going down there with that. She don't even follow mm-hmm. police like that. If you read the, if you read the statement again, it would definitely say that. Okay, I come up missing from July. You ain't heard a damn thing from me all the way to October. That's three fucking months. Come mm-hmm. on, man. You'll be fishy too. You did because you found me. Mm-hmm. Come on now. It don't make no sense. Then if, you, if we did business, why you keep, if I'm doing bad business, if you're doing bad business, you don't tell you're doing the same damn thing over and over and over. But the same person, that's stupid. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So let me get another thing clear. Uh, and I don't want to talk about the other shit because I know that's an honor void too. Um, when you read the shit, I didn't know that because I never had that police report, period. Which one are you talking about? The, the child thing. I never had that police report. Right. That, that, so so, so, so what, they, what, they, what they omitted to say was the date of the download, which will tell you, who, you know, who did it, um, the uh, item that it was downloaded on. And that's what your, your, your attorney got to figure out. Because if the date date back prior to you owning it, that's not your case. And then two, um, what uh, what are they saying they found it on? You know. Right, right. And, on top and then again too, then they got to prove that the people that they saying that's in there are actually kids. Yeah. They exactly. have to prove that those are kids. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Now, if, if they don't look like they're eight years old, then you know exactly. anything that's that's caught up will tell you. I have my dog that I babysit. When I met the girls. One of the girls was 13 when when we moved over there. I thought that little girl was 18 years old. She was big as hell. She wasn't <laughs> fat. She was built like a fucking woman. I was like, I'm um, talking. She came out to play. And I was like, how old are you? She was like 13. I was like, there's no fucking way. She was like, let me 13. I'm like, you are big. She was built like a fucking woman. And she was 13. She had to be five foot seven and shaped like a woman. She was not little at all. She was a full-grown woman at 13, at 13. So you can't even tell how, with these kids these days how old they are. Just like how I got carded three times in my 50s for the lottery. And you got to be 18 to play the lottery. And they, they well, thought I was 17, yeah, 16 years old. Yeah, your so like so you can't even, why? So you can't even say that a person is a child is unless you ID that person and find out who the fuck that is. It's very, very, very hard to determine age with these kids and with grown ups. Well, first of all, and I got that part, but the way they set it up, the way they set it up though, they said mm-hmm. you know, about the lurking and talking to people on the fucking internet. That's exactly what they put out there, these people thinking that I did. Well, no, that's what one of them dumbass bloggers said. He was on Zoom, but that—that that was one of them people bloggers trying to make it seem like something that wasn't. Right. Okay. Trying to say, oh, he was on Zoom with children. Where did you get that from? That shit is crazy. That was did. never reported. Yeah. Okay. So that's just them adding. You know, every story they're gonna add to the next one. Yeah. But I'm okay. just saying, everything. Just like when he came back last year, when your attorney first in December, Roswell was like, we don't have anything. And they didn't have anything, so they went fishing. Yeah, and they yeah, turned yeah. everything into a crime. They turned yeah. all your personal situations into a crime, which they, which they're not. They're not. They're not. I know they. Are. None of that shit. Even the fact with that girl trying to say, there's no way that a grown man. I get a, I get a kid. Kids, you can, you can terrify them and scare them. Like if you tell them to your mom, like listen, that. I get that. Kids be they don't know no better. They just scared. Listen, her dad is a bona fide game for me. All that shit, I ain't even worried about none of that. And I mm-hmm. know he already told me that they, they uh, what they call it, got some mental issues. The whole family do. So he already told Yeah, all you do is get people that know her to speak on her character. Yeah, he That's all you do with that. And then you look at her text messages around that area of the date that it happened and see what she's talking about. That's all you got to do. And that tell you right there. If she's feeling some type of way, scared, I was forced, 
she would be in some type of mode around that time that it happened. She would not be herself. And then to come back and say it happened two years later, and then two months, three months after, a year after that, you still around him? Like, that don't make sense. The you just kicking it and hanging and and, and it's, it's dating no the dude that <laughs> you. Like, that don't... And then you're in a Dominican, and then you still come back around. Like, it's like you have, you're a place that's away from where you could tell if, if it really happened. You went to Dominican, and you came back, and you're still in the face. I don't get that. No sense. And you're grown. You're not a kid. You're a grown woman. 19, listen, you can see, they can try to make it seem like she's immature, but Katie is smart as shit, and, she was, and she's 16. So you can't tell me a 19-year-old unless they're in the closet I'm, with no I'm, Instagram. I'm, 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 I'm going to make you laugh. You know who is my number one witness that saw and talked to the daddy personally with me? Mm-hmm. I'm going to mm-hmm. think about that one. The other person, the other, the other old people that cut me off. You catching on? Oh, the wife? Huh? The wife? Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, yeah, the father would have to come to court. You subpoena all of them as witnesses. Absolutely. You bring them all to court. Let's go to court. Yeah. Let's look at get your phone record. Just go to court, and then we're going to turn around, and then you're going to sue the police station because I'll turn this shit, and y'all went and, and framed me, put me in this, put me in this light, held me in jail without bond, and, and tried to drag all of these situations into okay, something so that it wasn't. Have you, have you done read that? What did you think? What you think that judge is going to say on first? On the, uh, what you, what the thing you is, the judge don't put too much thought in nobody's shit. They listen to the prosecutor argument. And they listen no, to the. Not this, not this judge. Not this judge. Not in what I'm here. Well, if you're, if you're, if you're, okay, so if I gotta put something together, put it in the email, cause sometimes people don't have common sense. Like, I got common sense. So I can look at this and tell what this really is. Because I got common sense to this shit. Like, alright, that don't make no sense. That don't need to make no sense. This is a criminal. If anything, it boils down to civil because I need to get my money and he won't give it to me. And that's personal because of the relationship makes it personal. If it was somebody that you was on the street that you saw one time or two times, then you could say, okay, that is criminal because da 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 But if it's somebody I'm dealing with for months at a time, calling on a daily, doing intimates, all that shit, honey, that's civil. That's civil. Okay, uh, okay not that part. I'm talking about the big boy. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, that's what I'm saying. I heard that don't make sense because your person that get don't don't come like how you coming back like in in a three year span around this. Why are you still around this person three years after the fact? And then try to say, well, he got me a sexual um for two years. He had me as some sexual servitive, you know, made me forced me to have sex with him. You didn't live with him. So what are we talking about here? If you live with a person, I get that. And I have nowhere to go. I'm homeless. I'm forced to live in this situation. That's a given. But if he got an address over here and you got an address over there, your daddy know this dude. Your daddy in your life. Your daddy is around. Your daddy ain't no punk. You got all these other people. What are you scared of? So all you got to do is tell your father he's going to stick his chest out and it's a wrap. It doesn't matter. So that don't even make sense. That don't make sense for that to be no, no, like. No, okay, so when was this say? Do you know when the statement was wrote? Uh, you don't um, remember. I don't remember. You know how much of a book like that shit let's, is. Let's, let's pass this. Let's, let's just pass this, man. I'll oh. pass it. Oh. Okay, so uh, let's get me and you straight, because I got to get me and you straight, because you need to get the uh, no, don't get me and you straight. I just feel like I don't I don't I don't see that that and I don't want to force don't I don't want to force you to be something that you're not. I want you to well, be you. you. Know, yeah, well, first of all, I ain't gonna let nobody tell me to, to, to do something that I ain't gonna want to do now. I'm not doing it. I'm straight. Yeah, but you might be in the moment and then you fall back to hey, your you. I, I don't know what the fucking you you're supposed to be. I don't know what you think, how you think this goes. I'm I don't fuck with everybody. Okay, I'm a good motherfucker. At the end of the day, innocent people get fucked around. I'm getting fucked around all the way around. And you can mm-hmm. see that the blind person can see that shit. Because you're dealing with crazy females. All your problems, all all your issues on that paper is girls. Okay, well, get fine. One that's dude. Okay, all that shit is females. That. That's, that's fine with that, but here's the problem. When people try to use your your uh, MO to get off, get off 
That's what happens. I'm not fi- I'm not fi- I'm not out. Um, I'm not mad with Gail at all because I, I knew that the police have something to do with that because I know her character. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm that little money ain't nothing to them. That's nothing to them. So I know better than that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, they, and they know my character. So they, they, if they didn't know my character, they wouldn't come back and deal with it. Period. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with mm-hmm. that kind of money. So I, I don't really worry about that part there at all. If it come down to this, this man say that I'll pull him some money, I don't even know this motherfucker. So I can put him on stand. I don't worry about him. I, mean, I ain't never seen him. He never seen me. So I don't He's know. I'm a thing to say he picked you out of the lineup. Um, no, he, he but, never seen me. The man never seen me before. He mm-hmm. never seen me at all. Never seen me. That's another lie. Never ever seen me. I never seen him. So I, I don't even know who them people is. I'm not worried about that. Those are not mm-hmm. worried about. All they're concerned about is them two big boys. That's it. That right. Them. Things I carry the most weight. Yeah. But yeah. again, like I said, all you all you gotta do is is get character witness on her. Uh, maybe an ex-boyfriend or some shit to tell you the type of person she is, her text messages, and then they're going to put her in the stand and ask her why, you know. No, all I got to do is get, I, I need to see, I never got a lot of pictures there. I've had that shit with any one of our flying calls. Uh-huh. I, I have nothing to hide. Flying uh-huh. I have nothing uh-huh. to hide. I'm going to get my motherfucking life back. I'm going to get my life uh-huh. back. I know that. So when it comes yeah. to you, uh, if, you're, if, I, if I knew something was fishy or I had something to hide, I would never ask you to go get that shit. Because to me, that, that, that let a person know, uh, well, you got this going on, good, it going on. You're strong enough to handle anything. You, you don't show me that part. The reality of it is we weren't in no type of committed situation. So you do whatever, whatever you was out there doing. I've never asked you what you were out here doing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, first of all, it's not what I'm out there doing. I'm talking about this. Sometimes people get in feelings and they try to add and put two things together. If he was there with them, he was with them. No, motherfucker. I call Joe ass every motherfucking day. Niggas it's a lot of hours in the day, sir. It's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of hours in the day. You not you, you got me out the way in the morning and then you had your afternoon for your Man. other. You had your, you had your had shit on the schedule. Uh, I didn't have no motherfucking. <laughs> I didn't have no motherfucking hidden agenda. I didn't have none of that shit going on. I'm a nice motherfucker, man. Motherfucker ain't going to kill me. You like are that. very nice. And I you're am. so cute. And you use that to your advantage. No, I don't use shit. It's just that uh, I, I know. Listen, man. If that motherfucker didn't hear that, that artistic son trying to do some shit, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't never fuck with that motherfucker at all. So that's another thing. Mm-hmm. They don't never tell the truth by ear. Oh, you can about. fuck with people and not fuck them. How about that? Yeah. Okay. And then this is this is the problem. No, this is what happens. When you oh, get with I mean, women. I'm no, I'm going to tell you, sir. No, I'm going to cut you off because you cut me off all the time. When you get a woman emotionally caught up in your ass and you disappoint her, there ain't nobody to fuck with. Okay. Let me explain. And that. that's why you have to keep. Sometimes even if you don't never sleep with a woman. And they like you like you ever notice how these bitches be fighting over oh, guys they like and the guy don't even know they exist, but they out here fighting and stabbing I, and killing I, girls. But I don't know that part because I don't deal with them. Girl, like you fucking crazy. <laughs> what? That's why I don't have no. I don't have you. Find you hang around females? No, I don't hang around no fucking females because the bitches is crazy. And, and and then you add sex into the equation. Automatically, if you fuck them twice, they think y'all a couple without even having a conversation. I can fuck you for two, ten years, and until we have a conversation, okay, we can okay, fucking around. I got a question for you. So what's your, what are you saying? Are you saying that I can't commit to nothing? Is that what you're trying to say? So that means you're saying that I can't commit to you? Is that what you're saying? Because that's what sounds Could you faithfully commit to me? I don't think so. Well, why are you hanging around? I right? think you could have an open situation with me and okay, see uh, everybody why, and why, be, why, you know. Why, why are you hanging around again? Because that's not what you're looking for. No, I just discovered that today reading your stuff. I was like, this, this, he had a lot going on. The wife, me, her, the other girl. Like, that's four, that's four situations. Uh, okay. All right. Just in 2022. Don't, 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 don't believe everything you hear now. Because when it gets to school, no. No, mm. no. Now, don't believe everything you hear. 
Because when I told you to about that code, when I told you about that general shit, you, you believe me, but you did, but you did, but you did, but you just trying to figure that shit out. Now you got it in your fucking hand. You can see that don't make no fucking sense. Well, that, well, that, 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 yeah, that doesn't make sense. Okay. I mean, to say, uh, it's, uh, like you could say, you could say one thing happened, but it wasn't the way she's saying it happened. You get me? You can be with somebody and it was consensual and they could turn around and flip it and say it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't have, you don't, unless it was violent, you don't have proof to say it anything different. It's just her coming back mad saying, oh, he did this to me. You know what I'm and that's what, that's the hard part about proving it. And that's when people gotta get character witnesses. You gotta get the phone conversations. That's how Chris Brown got off the last, um, situation last year because this chick tried to say that about him. And he had all the phone conversations and he, and they proved that shit in court and then it dropped it because she had text messages from her. And they, he was like, so if I sexually assaulted her, why is she texting me all this, this, that, and the other? And it just blew her shit out the water. And it and it, they shut it down. Like, yeah. And I got that. that shit. I got that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got right. That. So if somebody, if somebody, oh, I'm scared, and he said he was going to kill me, why are you kicking and texting him? And where you at? And how come you ain't over here? You know, that don't sound like you scared Thank of somebody. You. That don't sound scared. That don't sound Does scared. Does that sound like she's scared of him? Mm-mm. Yeah, he said he's going to kill me. Well, if he said he's going to kill you, why are you inviting him over? Why are you talking about what time can I come through or why would you say all that to a person you're terrified of? Like, that don't make sense to me. Why would we, why would you go around? On, and it's been two years. Three years. 2019 Thank to 22. You. you were in his face. I'm, I'm, that, that don't make sense to be around somebody you completely terrified of. And he did this thing. He hurt me and he made me have sex with him. And I didn't want to. That okay. Is my motherfucking character. I got Okay. So if you pull all her, if you pull all her phone records, not just talking to you, but talking to her friends, yeah, me and such such just got to, you know what I'm saying? All of that's going to come out. That don't sound like a victim to me. It sound like you bragging. There you go. It sound like you bragging. Because, you know, that don't sound like you you in some type of, like, women shut down or they go and tell somebody in distress. They don't they do. brag about rape. No, they, they don't do. brag about something they scared of or somebody they terrified of. So all they got to do is pull her phone records, and that's going to say it all. And you can't delete that shit. It's going to say it all. Okay. Okay. Who she was on there texting, talking about it, or how she talking to you, you and her conversation, just like you and the other girl's conversation. Okay, so how is that criminal? That sounds like me and her in some type of relationship. She giving me money. You know, I'm doing this for her. Me and her looking out for each other. Okay, listen, I'm, I'm done with that kid shit. I'm yeah. About what you finna- well, you know what? I, I ain't doing nothing. I'm just chilling like a villain. No, I ain't sure what you're doing. I'm talking about what you're doing. What you're doing. No, 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 no. Don't play with me. Am I here at? Yeah, where you here at? I'm not here at the place. I just, I just, I just feel like, you know you better than me, but I just don't want you to lie. Have a lie Thank to you. you. Have a lie to you. Have a lie to you. I mean, we never one caught time. you in a lie, but we don't really. I didn't ask you. Yeah, you did. You. Lie. Yeah, you did lie that, that one time. That was a big lie, too, because I kept asking you about that. Okay, you kept no, lying. No, I'm asking you a question. Um. Have I lied to you? Anything I think is fishy, I'm going to tell you straight up off front. This is what's going on right now. This is it. This is it. This is going on. I ain't got to do all this. We never had that type of conversation, though, because you, when we would talk, you just how you going, what's your day like, or how you feel, what's on your mind, and you hang up. You never talked about this. No, no, no. I ain't going to tell these crackers what the fuck I got on my fucking head, because they just No, I'm talking about, no, now, I'm talking about then, before you went to jail. Oh, I know, but that's okay. what the conversation was then. You wasn't well, well, I, saying, okay, you, I you would know, just look at I, me and let me talk, okay, and then you'd right. get off the phone. Okay. Right, okay. you right. wasn't talking. I, I want to know where your head at right now, because you don't need to be all over the place when it comes out of me right now. You really don't. Okay, I can separate the two. First thing is, first thing first is, if I think you can't be with me in the way that I want you to be with me, I'm cool with that. If that's the case today, because I'm not, I'm not so in deep. No, because I'm not so in deep that it, it, it's going to affect me. It'd be disappointed, but it wouldn't like crush me. But the separate thing, your case is separate. That's that. I'm not going to drop the ball on. Period. I'm going to help you regardless, like to my fullest ability, because you shouldn't be in jail. It's a bunch of shit. It, you know, what I'm saying I'm not mad at you about any of that stuff. You know, I'm not upset about anything like that. It's just. Listen, man, you, you don't send texts about just, yourself. My dad was 77 years old, and guess what? It don't take that, but you don't retire that that quick. 
Yeah, you got one too. If you keep a handful of women, you know what I'm saying, guys, no. Listen, where they at right now? If I had a whole handful on you, do I, do I need you? Do I need anybody else? No, the fuck I don't. They'd be lining up outside out right there. Free the man, free him. I'll be just less rest of the idiot. That's my baby mm-hmm. daddy. Well, the dead. thing about the but about your situations was it was very surface situation. That was what you have I mean, one that's minute that's remaining, and they're really your enemy at this point because they're all the ones that's going against you. But now I don't know about the other ones because I'm sure you know you talked to more than the, the four. But it's not important. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read this. Get this. I'm gonna put this in some some type of form and put my points to it and send it to your attorney so she can read it and see the, the, the common sense. I don't know. She may have common sense. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to just put it to her how I see it. I need me a new lawyer. I need me, a, I need me somebody. Me. You do need, but we got to, I mean, hey, all she got to do is read the script. It's just, it's common <laughs> sense. It's just common sense. That's what it looks, I mean, everybody on there, people you had dealings with, Ongoing. It's not like you just went to random stores and and did this or random strangers. That would be yeah, that's a crime. But if it's people you got long stemming relationships, I didn't even get to the part why sharing. Thank you for using Global Telling. Okay, this is my morning call, so I won't be calling you in the morning. What you want? Right. What you say? Your morning call. Uh, so you got five minutes. Your morning call is five minutes long. So go ahead. What's up, boo? Oh, now what's up, boo? Now. <laughs> now, I mean, all, it's the same. Listen, the energy's the same. It's just the realization of it all. Like, you know, what I'm saying, I'm not going. I'm not going to kid myself. And, and I don't want you to. Right. I don't want you to tell me what I want to hear. Listen, you know what I'm saying? I just want you to just be completely. I'm gonna tell you just like this here, man. You you gonna have to listen to me very carefully. Yeah, yeah, real carefully. I don't have time to play no games. I'm going to be sixty ball. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you don't want to believe me, that's fine. I'm in mm-hmm. jail. I can't convince nobody of anything. I have nothing. I am broke. So guess what? If I have to live by myself, come out of jail, I'm fine. Or if I live with you, I'm fine. Okay? But I don't want nobody to be around me, got to look at one eye open, one eye closed. I wonder if you're going to do this. I wonder if I told you that last night. I don't want to live like that. I told you that. I don't want to live. Nobody wondering, wishing it. I'm wishing behind my back and don't trust what I'm saying. And it could be an episode of something that happened and you don't believe me and, and it'll be over with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to live with nobody like that. I don't want to be around nobody like that. I have a lot. You want to speak and be believed. That's yeah. the key. And right now, my credibility is zero right now. Unless I got all innocent papers in my hand. And sometimes people say, that, that ain't good enough. They still rather had a trauma than the trauma. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I, I understand that. You see what I'm saying? So this is a lot of pressure right here on myself. It, it ain't on you because you can move on. But I don't want nobody to be uncomfortable if they can't believe what I say. I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to do that. Like mm-hmm. I said, I, like I told you, like that, uh, uh, I told you, I said, they're trying to turn my business for You ain't heard nothing I said. Nothing I said. You didn't hear nothing I said. I like that, though. Uh, yeah, because yeah, 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 I know it ain't no financial crimes out there. Remember you said, hey, it's a credit card thing. I don't even use credit cards. No, my motherfucking debit cards. Nobody don't even give me their credit card. None of that made no fucking sense to me. They said her number, her credit card number is on, on the they paper. Said her credit card them. number was in your bag. A copy of her number or her credit card was on your first, first, all, first of all, they're lying. They're lying. And I know better than any transaction I do with anybody, I can remember very, very well. Because it's very mm-hmm. few. So I know that. Okay? I'm a very detailed person. So what I will say this right here. I don't want to live a fake-ass life. I done did that, done that. That means mm-hmm. that I don't want to never do it again. I don't want to live like that. I don't live on both sides of the fence. 
So my thing is, if you can't listen to what I'm saying, I got to tell you the truth. If you don't want to listen to that and you don't believe it, I don't want you around me if you feel any kind of doubt. I told you, you're very intelligent. I can't put nothing over you. That's dumb. That's stupid. That's not going to help you. And you, I might not say shit, but it's not my place to say something every time you do something. I'm not going to do that. Because you can hit your own space as well. I'm not going to crowd your space if I don't like it. Fuck it. I ain't going to do that. That's not me. So what I'm saying to you is that if, if you're with me, you're with me. You ain't, you ain't. If you're going to love me, keep loving me, love me. Don't do not do all that wishy-washy like you told me. Don't don't just start backing off now. Don't start backing off. Well, I told you the truth. I said, get out of my head because you know it exactly where my mind was at. I told you the truth. I don't have nothing to hide at all. I ain't gonna play. I know you say you love me. I ain't got to die by myself. I know that. <laughs> I ain't gonna, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna worry about that part. So it is what it is. And I do not remind you of your fucking daddy. So stop saying this shit. <laughs> okay, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that shit. I know, right? I don't I like not that remind shit. you of your right? I don't like that. You know I don't like that because see, you're there way worse than what I got going on. Way worse. Way worse. But I, I like his kids. Also, he did whatever to do. He took his kids at the time. Now, when y'all got grown, I can't buy for that. Because mm-hmm. when you got kids, y'all, y'all young, I, I'm good at it. You know what my son told me? He said, he might not got what he got right now, trying to hear me without, but he got that vision that he never forgot how he grew up with me. And he said, mm-hmm. man, I know that's not you know, you. I know what you, who kind of man you is. I, he didn't have to stop it. He's conversation that him and I had personally. So what I'm saying is that made me feel good because sometimes you can doubt your own fucking self. People can make you doubt yourself. And for you going to get that shit done, that eats my mind all the way around. Mm-hmm. So I'm good with that. I just got to be patient. So like mm-hmm. I said, I, I, I don't have to... Love is a hard word for me. That's a very hard <laughs> word for me. Yes, it is. So I don't tell everybody I fucking love them because to me that's, that's a hard word there. It's very hard. So it is what it is. A lot of people say a lot of things to do what they got to do. And one thing I will say, and I'm going to go back to it, I'm going to go back to the way, she did explain this shit to me. She said, when you start getting around these type of people, everybody's going to come at you, a different type of crowd. And she was right. She was mm-hmm. motherfucking right. She said, they're going to use, try to use me, and they're going to use you. Mm-hmm. Right. So everything that I hear today, they're trying to use to get what they're trying to get their own life set apart from what they got going on. This is a fucking school teacher. What the mm-hmm. fuck? I'm going to be fucking around with a school teacher. Think about mm-hmm. it. So I, I'm, just, I'm just keeping it 100. A lot of people say a lot of things try to get they got to get back. You know what they said? Oh, they got a million off scam. You know what I should say? Hey, okay. uh, everybody called me and think I'm going to pay some debt off that ain't even been debted out. That's a sad situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only person that that's got it's only um if you add up everything they're talking about, ten thousand, and then that the school teacher was like maybe five thousand dollars, and then um uh, a nine thousand dollar check to that trailer place, and then um the business partner with seventy thousand, and then the twenty thousand cash. That's still only a hundred thousand dollars. Thank you. A hundred, maybe a hundred and thirty. Thank it's still ain't my way in there. Um, what's the and then, like I said, all that stuff they were talking about with that uh, school teacher with that shit, you know. Oh, you got to put that. You got to put that. All of that, all of that is civil. I mean, all of that is civil. I know it is. All of that is civil. I mean, if you if if we in the situation and you, now you want your money back, you know, and and some people get like that when shit end, they be Indian giving and saying, "Well, oh, you owe me this and you owe me that," because. Da, 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 cause it didn't work out or for whatever, Thank whatever. You. Because we want they shit back. And then now it's a problem. And girls love nine one one when they mad at somebody. That's who <laughs> they go to. My sister was good. Both my sisters love nine one one when they get mad at a dude. That that be they go to nine one one. And they oh he got a gun. He got a this. He did this. I'm like, oh he didn't lie like that. Mad. Just lie. Yeah, well, that, that, I mean. That, 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 I'm going to love you as long as you want me to love you. I'm going to be around you as long as you want me to be. And I've already showed you that and told you that. I've told you that. you show me as well. So it is what it is. I don't need you because I'm in here. It's fine. I thank you for all that. But that shit don't mean nothing to nobody if they're not feeling it. 
straight up. I don't do that. Oh, uh-huh. uh, that is, that's nothing. I'm not, I'm yeah. not in there. So right now, I'm good. I'm, I'm straight with a guy. Uh, I'm a fighter. I don't give up. And what you showed me is straight bullshit. Now I just got to figure this shit out. And which I have already. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all that shit is like uh, that's reaching. Everything they say was reaching, and then they got to they need to specify what the Lord got to specify is what what uh machine or what uh thing they they found these pictures on, and then they have to to, to even say that you know it was your, your device that had it, or was it that device you got used, the computer that was uh at the pawn shop, and then um. Uh, and, and then again, too, um, and you got to prove that those are actual kids, right. you know? Because right. nowadays, it's just, you know, if you said that's my shit, okay, um, I don't think so, because I know I don't do shit like that. Uh, I ain't that freaky. But um, are those fucking kids? Yeah, I, I know. I, I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they got to figure that shit out. You know, you got to go to the trial and be like, you know. I got to I got to go find the resource on that shit. Make sure y'all find out the source of that. Get the kid, get the ID, find out what school they go to. <laughs> Man, that shit ain't like that. That shit ain't nothing like that. That ain't even but, like that. like that. That's not even I, 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 Well, I know that. I'm talking about to prove. First, they got to prove, prove when that shit was downloaded and, and all that type of shit and if it was in your possession. You know, because, again, uh, you're not on the computer like that. Thank you. You know, the computer, yeah, literally. Like that. That shit. Right, you real old school when it comes to um, computers. <laughs> the only thing you would look on the computer is a fucking RV and, um, yeah. you know, something like that. That'd be like the extent of your, your computer, uh, you know, technology know how. You're not really that okay. person. I'm not. Now you, that's why you have your daughters and them around, because they're the ones that get the computer yep. for you, do everything for you. So, you sit there Absolutely. and try to find. To be able to find shit like that, you can't just find child easily because they go, you go to jail for that shit. So it's not accessible. It's some type of backdoor dark web shit. Right. That's how that shit is. That child pornography is not accessible easily at all. Not, so not at all. I've, I've never ever seen it and I've never stumbled across it or ever wanted to, but I know for a certainty that, you know, with the, in law that I've dealt with, but that's one thing that's not easily accessible. And you gotta have really good computer knowledge or have some rights in order to pull some shit up like that. You know, that's not something you can just Google. Make it girls. You know, make it make it children and animals. You know what I'm saying? You, it's just it's just, not. You know. You just you just you, you just you need to keep this one thing. Don't fucking give up on me. You know, motherfucker, give up on me. Oh man, I shouldn't have did that shit. Oh man, I know you're gonna do it. I don't want to deal with that shit when it come down to you. Mm-hmm. I'm just letting you know that right now. You better keep your love strong as you can for me as best way you can. That's the best thing I can tell you right now. Okay, fine. No problem. I have no problem doing that. You okay. keep it 100% with me, honest. Okay. Wait. Well, you need to keep yourself together. Because this is... Yeah. No, 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 straight up. You need to keep yourself together, man, because this is a motherfucker right here. This is something else. Yeah, somebody read this shit. I mean, they can go to court and try to lie to kind of, you know, support their 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 statements, of course. But again, like I said, um, it's still civil. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's not criminal, even if you said all of this happened the way it happened. Man, I that's still wait. civil. That's yeah, not yeah. criminal. Y'all had an ongoing situation. Y'all sleeping together. Y'all rubbing on each other. Okay. Spending the night, let, let, that's let civil. That's not laugh. criminal. Let make you laugh. And it was over a year of dealing with each other. It wasn't no one month. You know, I met him online type shit, you know, and I got scammed. Like, that's, they do that now. Yeah, but I, I, one thing for sure, one, I'm going to tell you, one, I ain't going to get arrogant. I ain't going to get arrogant. I'm, I'm a thousand percent sure that I, I know I'm good. I know this. Definitely for what you read from me today. I'm perfect. Don't fall. Mm-hmm. If you, you all you got to do a look this at This is amazing why you just keep trying to say, oh, What's he, he, he don't want no bond. I'm looking at the charges like, this kind of bullshit is this. People get out of jail for way worse than this. He, way he worse. had a relationship with a girl and she kept giving him money and he's trying to hold him in jail for that. What the fuck is that? Hey, if I'm finna cut out, I love you very much. No, thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you for using Global Telling. Please stay tuned as I have more calls coming with Ernesto speaking on his charges. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss the next one.